had used all the media yet? Mm -hmm. All the questions? Oh, uh, yeah, not, not bad. Not too bad. Which one am I looking at? Does it matter? Any, any of them. Okay. Uh, so what did the stint here tell you about the game? And I'm sure you've been asked this question before. But now reflecting back on it and what you need to do with this offseason. Yeah, I'm, um, you know, what I need to do with this offseason, uh, definitely get bigger and stronger. Um, you know, that's kind of been a, a point at every every stage in my hockey career. So, because uh, I've always been a skinnier guy. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit more emphasis now. And I think, you know, I'm getting older and I think it'll be a lot easier to do so. So, um, that and yeah, I, I think, um, you know, the last 10 games have been good. I think. You know, it was the end of the season. Guys had, you know, already played 70-something games. So I think it was a little bit easier coming in in that time than mid-season. So I think I'm expecting a little bit more uh, intensity next season. But, um, you know, going against other guys. But I think I think it was good to get my, you know, get my toes wet and uh, see what kind of game it is, see how fast it is and uh, the physicality of it and, you know, get get a little confidence that, you know, I can I can play here and, um, you know, contribute to the team. Is it what you expected or what you dreamed of? Yeah, I mean, it's um, in the hockey aspect, I think um, I think I had, yeah, I think it met the expectations of, you know, how hard it was going to be and, uh, you know, I think the, you know, how many games you play and, you know, how, how you have to treat your body and, uh, like almost the turnover, like it's a lot different from college. So that was probably over my expectations. Like we, we had Friday, Saturday, and then you have six days to fix any bumps or bruises. Here you got, you got Friday, and then you're playing Saturday or Sunday. So you're you got to get going, um, and so there's no time to waste. So that was that was definitely that might have been the biggest adjustment, um, but I think that it's really good to see that and know know what's coming and kind of get get acclimated to that so that was that was probably the biggest uh, um yeah uh, no i was done with that <laughs> uh what was the season overall like i mean you played in michigan for two different team usa and then you come here uh, a lot of hockey in a lot of different places uh was, was that ever a problem trying to adjust um yeah no it was it was definitely a lot of hockey um, I wouldn't say it's it was too hard to adjust. Um, you know, I played international tournaments with new teams a lot. So, uh, and I think kids nowadays, you know, you play in your summer tournaments, and uh, you know, I did it when I was really young too. You, you play on your team, and then you play seven different summer tournaments, and you 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 learn over time how to play with new players. And um, so, I think I think for me, I just you know. Uh, tried to build chemistry with your line mates as fast as possible. You know, you get a couple practices and you see how they play, their strengths. You see your strength, or you know your strengths, and uh, you know that's that's the biggest thing when you're playing with new players. You just got to play your strengths and um, you know hope they kind of pick up on yours and hope that there's uh, you know they kind of go together. If that makes sense. On that, on that topic of Team USA, uh, you were asked when you first started here if you're going to consider playing in the World Championship this summer. Have you made a decision on that? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going. So, um, so what is your plan now for the summer? Do you just do you go back to Massachusetts and just start training again? Or? Yeah, I think it's a mix of uh, going back to Mass and then I might go to Michigan as well. It's, um, I think I, I have two really good spots where I train. So one uh, back in Foxborough and then at USA I've trained there too. So I think I'll probably do a little bit mix of both on the same program, just um, skate, be at home for a little bit, get that rest, and you know, work out, be with my family, and then go to Michigan, and I think probably skate with, you know, the Hughes and their group, and then um, you know, work out with Brian Galvin at USA. So, and then uh, with the season, you know, coming in here to the NHL level, you had a lot of success, like right off the bat here. I mean, you know, what nine points in ten games? Did that surprise you at all that you were able to step right in and, and start immediately producing? Um, yeah, a little bit. I think, uh, I think, I think I, you know, after the first game, I think I was like, all right, I think I can, I can do this. I didn't know, um, you know, points are going to come, uh, like that, but, um, you know, they did. And I think, you know, that's, that's, uh, you know, a lot goes to that, to my line mates and the people I was playing that were around me playing. Um, so yeah, I think, um, I wasn't totally expecting it. I thought, I think I, 
could have an impact, but I didn't know it was going to be uh, as much as that, I'd say. When you first got here, you talked about wanting to be a sponge, kind of learn everything. What are some of the things that you've learned, and are there any teammates in particular that have uh, made an extra effort to teach you some stuff? Yeah, I mean, um, like I said, my line mates, they were great. Uh, Ev, Evs and uh, Donato, they were, they were awesome, kind of uh, helped me with the game, you know, just little things on the ice that, um, you know, people don't really see, but um, it goes a long way in, you know, making the game easier for me, um, you know, for like, you know, keeping keeping pucks moving, not trying to take pucks back, you know, people, I like to do that. Um, so, um, you know, there's a time and place, but, you know, no, little things on the ice like that. And then off the ice, you know, um, you know, just like I said, the, the uh, game aspect of having games in a ton of days, like, you know, little rec recovery things and things like that that I kind of just saw people doing and I'd pick them up. I was like, oh, that's great. Let's let's do that. So, yeah. You've been in Seattle a handful of games versus most of the boys the majority of nine months now. Anything you've learned about Seattle? Any of the boys saying, hey, you really got to come eat here? Or any favorite places to eat? Or, I mean, it's a little bit different than the other coast you're from. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, definitely different from Michigan. Honestly, somewhat similar to Boston in in a way. I mean, there's great restaurants here that we've been to. Um, we've actually been to a good amount. Um, I think we went to Bourbon Steak a couple times. That was great. Um, but, yeah, no, great restaurants. Finally have some seafood again that I can eat. Um, unlike Michigan, I didn't really have that. So that's honestly been great. Having I'm like, oh, I can eat the clam chowder here. Um, so no, that's, that's been, that's been honestly huge. And it's, it's, I mean, I don't know, people who live in Seattle might think differently, but like for me being kind of new here, like, I think it's somewhat similar to Boston. It kind of gives me that home feeling like you got, you know, a nice city, you got the water, you got great food around. And, um, I haven't been able to do much exploring. My parents were able to while they were here, but I think we're going to come back in the, in the summer and, um, do a little bit more than than what I did, but yeah, no, I, I love my first, you know, what was it, three weeks here, so uh, I, had a, I had a lot of fun, and yeah, I think the food was the food was great, so. Matty, a bunch of your Michigan teammates made the same jump as you did. Have you guys had a chance to catch up? Are there differences or unique things in your experience or things you've heard from them? Uh, I think it's a lot of similar experiences, um, you know, with the guys they've, you know, I've talked to a lot of them, um, met up with Borlo when he came here, um, you know, and it's just been, honestly, they've all, from what I've heard, they've all have great experiences like I have. Um, you know, the guys have been great, you know, welcoming them in in each of their teams. And, um, you know, the play, play-wise, I think they're all doing great. I think they, um, you know, I think, I think for the most part, guys expected it to be, um, you know, really difficult. Um, it was difficult still, but I think, um, I think, I think that the way I know, I, or I, overall, I think the guys that made the jump, they handled it well, and um, maybe it was just they were able to acclimate to the game a little bit quicker than I think we all thought we were gonna. So I think I think those two things, and like I said, that goes, you know, a lot of credit goes to the people that you're around and them helping you feel like you're a part of the team and comfortable with everyone, and then you can start to really play your game. So. And you look you look like you've been comfortable from the moment you walk in the building here. Have you been or have you kept like was there anxiousness at the outset that you managed to just keep underneath a, a cool outside exterior or how, how has this kind of played out for you in that regard? Yeah, I mean I think it was more excitement than it was, you know, nerves. Um you know, like I said, I mean, I, I hate to keep going back to it, but it's honestly like I had great guys around me. Um, you know, I had Ryan. He made me feel pretty comfortable when I got here and a lot of other guys. Like even before I got here, they were reaching out. They were, if you have any questions, text me, things like that. Um, so I was like, you know, you're walking into a team and they're, they're welcoming you instead of, you know, you know, pushing you aside or something like you, you start to feel more comfortable. And then, and then when you get to the hockey aspect, if you, if you, you know, things are going right off the ice, you know, when you get to on ice, it's, that's just hockey and you're playing, we're playing what you've been playing for your whole life. So uh, I think that's the biggest thing when, you know, when things are going well off ice, on ice is going to go well. Awesome.